Yes, villagers. Today we're going to be talking about the benefits of fasting. So if you're interested in losing weight and improving your general health, this is exactly the thing for you. We're going to be talking about four benefits of fasting. If you're interested in how those four things can improve your life, you're in the right place. If you're new to this channel, welcome to our village. If you're a returning villager, welcome as well. So let's get into it. Welcome to Garden of the Mind, where we reduce stress, improve our health and fitness, and improve our financial IQ every episode. We must believe fasting something that's great for the body people know that other people do it but they don't know exactly why or what it is so today we're going to be talking about some of those things there's so many different ways to fast there is fasting from sun up to sundown so that means during the time where sun is up and sun is down you are not eating that's usually like a whole day kind of fast now fasting you do eat but you only eat during certain specific times we also have an intermittent fast and that's the fast that everybody is going crazy over that's the big buzzword right now and what you do with the intermittent fast is you only eat in eight hour blocks now there's 24 hours in a day 16 of those hours you are not eating however within eight hours you can consume all of the food that you're going to consume for the entire day it's not as difficult as it sounds give it a try benefit number one weight loss this is the driving force behind the intermittent fast craze everybody wants to lose weight and for people who've had difficulty losing weight through exercise and other things they found a lot of success here with fasting now you can also think about it this way the less you're putting in your body the less that your body has to work with and then the pounds come off I believe that's true but I also think that when you fast you change the point in which you are either satisfied or full so example if normally you would eat and on a scale of 1 to 10 you would get full at around a 8 once you start to fast, it decreases that capacity inside your stomach. So you no longer get full or satisfied at an eight. It only takes maybe a four for you to be completely satisfied. So if you want to cut down on how much you eat, but you don't want to feel necessarily deprived, fasting is it. However, you have to make a small sacrifice throughout the rest of the day to eat very disciplined and you'll get there. Benefit number two clarity of mind when you start to fast you start to find that you are in tune with so many other things that you would have not necessarily paid attention to you feel like you're more in tune with nature more in tune with the world you also become more in tune with the amount of pressures there are to eat we get pressure from our friends our family television commercials even the way that we learned how to eat now most people think that you're supposed to have three square meals a day and snacks in between. Now they're taking a look at that and seeing whether that is necessarily true or not. And I don't believe it's true. I believe that most of the times we overeat. We can actually survive off of one meal a day. Now I understand that is way far from probably where you are, but we can survive off of one meal a day. So any decrease from what it is that you're doing within that one meal a day, you're still within your bounds to still maintain your health and still start to lose weight and see a lot of benefits. Now, when you start to fast, you start to see that so much of our thought goes into eating. And when you no longer use your energy and your thought power for eating because you know you're not going to eat anyway, then you start to direct that energy into other things and you, your thoughts start to deepen. They start to get more clear. You got to try it. Benefit number three, discipline. Discipline to me is both a skill and a process. If you don't exercise that muscle, how can you seek to have it get strong? You have to exercise this muscle. So if you're not disciplined throughout your regular life, this gives you an opportunity to practice in a non-threatening way and helps you to develop that muscle. And then once you develop it, then you can generalize it to doing other things. Tip number four, you increase your spiritual connection. 
When you start to become in tune with nature, your reality, your surroundings, all of these different things, you also become connected with God. You also become in tune with God. So some of you, if you are thinking about how you hear the voice of God, this is one of the best ways. The Bible says, be still and know that I am God. During this time, maybe pick up your Bible, maybe read certain things in the Bible and pray for understanding. So if there's some things in your life that you can't quite wrap your brain around, some things that you need to figure out, some direction that you need for your life, fasting is the way to go. Bonus tip. There are plenty of health benefits associated with fasting as well. So if you have high blood pressure or high cholesterol, intermittent fasting is known to decrease those things. Check with your doctor though. If you have diabetes or other things like that, fasting may not be so effective, but please research those things before trying it. Now there are plenty of benefits to fasting. We just listed four. But I'm sure you can think about some benefits that have really worked out for you. Please put that in the comments. The village would love to hear that. And if I get enough comments, maybe I'll make a video on intermittent fasting. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you want to know when I post, which is Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, please click on that notification bell so you get a ding on your phone and you know that a new video is ready for you. And remember, Thoughts are actions, words have power, and actions have consequences. I'll see you for our Mindful Monday section where we'll be exploring four ways to get equity in your relationship. I'll see you then.